What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Hey, I heard y'all still flying these chicks out. Where they do that at? I heard y'all still reaching out to these chicks in y'all regular DMs and not having your homeboy do it for you. Where they do that at? Hey, I heard you using your real account and you messing around, you messing up the bag. Now your chick is out here running around making whole lives and whole posts about you and you ain't got no control over your household. Where they do that at, man? Hey, man, listen, bro. The same way that they have NBA veterans, you know what I'm saying? They had Antoine Walkers, the dudes that wind up going broke and they had them go out and speak to the young bulls that's getting drafted or the young guys that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 years old that's just coming into money. Is the same way that they need to have some of these OGs come and speak to a lot of these young entertainers, these dudes that's just getting in the game that truly don't understand how to move appropriately and accordingly in order to make sure that you're not, A, spending money when you ain't got to spend money because they're going to do it for the clout. B, these chicks is out here using a phone. C, it's in a different era, the social media era. Young Blue, you knew that you grew up in the social media era. I don't know why you out here getting finessed by these hood rats. And you you, you flying out a hood rat, fam. Ain't nobody in your circle. Nobody in your camp had a conversation and told you, hey, Blue. Hey, Blue Vandross, this is a bad look. This is a bad idea. Yo, who is this little stick figure? Who is this ant figure that's running around with the baby hairs? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's getting clout. That's secretly recording. Why y'all ain't take that chick phone from her? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, we got to move a little bit differently with our choices and your ability to continue to hold it down. And if you ain't got a chick, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that his chick shouldn't have got mad. First of all, his chick should have understood that the industry that he in, that come along with it. B, if you ain't got a chick that's going to hold you down, and keep everything behind closed doors, but they out here messing up the bag too. See, the one thing that the real chicks understand is that under no circumstances do you show and mess up the bag and then and then make things 10 times worse than it would have been, especially if you consider and stand with him. Now, most women are not willing to walk away from a situation, especially if a dude get messed up the first time or you know, a little hood rat chick, and he ain't even do nothing with her. That's the thing. Forgive him, baby girl. He ain't even do nothing with her. He walked away from her. You know what I'm saying? Once he seen what he was getting, and once he seen what the package was, he said, yo, the package smell like mildew. We can't move like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, for him, for him, I think that he made a smart decision in retrospect once he realized that he made a mistake. That's a good pitch. Listen, man, I ain't even bring her for, for me, I brought her for the homies. But here's the here's the real key, right? Y'all got to be smarter. You cannot ever in any circumstances put the bag on the line, especially for a hood rat. She ain't signed no paperwork. She ain't got nothing to lose. She ain't, in a, you know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. When you deal with dusty chicks, right? And I'm not calling her dusty. I'm just using this as a reference moment in order to make a point. <laughs> when you deal with dusty chicks, what happens is, they don't feel as though they have anything anything to lose. So if you're dealing with women that don't have anything to do, lose, they ain't got no business, they ain't got no career, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing on the line. And the only thing that they got is dust because the clout that they have is largely built up, built up off of going viral over something stupid or, you know what I'm saying, clout chasing social media, you automatically dealing with the wrong type of chick. And so y'all keep reaching out to these chicks and y'all keep making yourself visible to literal people nobodies and i'm not saying that they have to be relevant on social media or anything like that but i'm saying that they're nobodies and that they don't have anything relevant going on in their life except for to try to expose you or put you on a line and then as a result you don't want it's a lose-lose situation for you you lose as a result of even bringing her on on the plane on the pj you wasted time and money in that sense for chicks that would have did it for the clout that would have did it for a spirit flight first of all secondly you should have never flew a chick out in the first place because you can go and pick one up pick a baddie up for wherever it is that you are right for free third you risked it all as far as your family and all of that other type of stuff 
for a little chick that ain't got nothing better to do but to but to make TikTok videos. And that's the entire existence is the TikTok video. And then fourth, ain't nobody around you. Ain't none of your friends actually being your friend and telling you the thing that's uncomfortable. Because listen, in a lot of instances, people don't want to hear that. And when they the top dog and they crew, what happens is you set the tone for everybody else that's following you. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say, for example, if you the type of dude that always snap off on a person that's holding you accountable in your crew, even though you know that that person got the best interest in heart. And again, it's the difference between a dude that's a hater and a dude that got your best interest at heart. If you the type of dude that is snap off on a dude because you know what I'm saying? He holding you accountable or he trying to prevent you from from getting into a situation that's going to be a bad dude for you then that's the environment that you're going to create for yourself. But if you're the type of dude that, you know, invite people that actually have your best interests at heart around you, they going to immediately set the tone because you need dudes that's going to hold you down. You don't need dudes that's just going to crash out for you because crashing out for me mean that they ain't got nothing to lose anyway. They're not supposed to be with me anyway. You need dudes that is going to hold you down and give you the game based off of what's best for you. And if you don't have those type of people that surround you, you need to get a whole new crew. No hanger-ons, no people that's just gonna cloud chase, no none of that type of stuff. Get the type of people around you that's gonna add value into your life. And the best way for most people to add value into your life when you have a level of re relevance is to find people that's gonna absolutely positively tell you the truth. Tell me the truth, even if I get mad at you right now, because at least I know you got my best interest at heart and you, you the person that I'm gonna have around me, no matter what the situation is. You know what I'm saying? Brothers always make up. Brothers always make up, but you can't come back. You can't come back for messing up the bag. Under no circumstance do we ever mess up the bag, and that's what brothers understand. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be a little bit more careful of who it is that you keep around you, the people that you got inside of your circle, because those is the ones that's gonna hold you down. Now. For, for all of my fellas, right? Because a lot of people are saying, well, this is unrelatable to most of us because you know what I'm saying? We not famous, we don't have, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are, you a king in your own right. And so you, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot to lose, you got a chick, you got a relationship. You are not even at the apex of where you gonna be. You know what I'm saying? You the man in your own city, you got a business, you got a job, you got all of this other type of stuff. I see women out here doxing dudes every day. I see women out here crashing out you know what I'm saying? They can't wait to expose you. They can't re wait to reach out to your chick. Man, listen, bro. Get you an OG that's going to teach you how to move accordingly, exercise a level of dis dick discipline, and don't find yourself crashing out over a chick that ain't got nothing to lose. It's as simple as that. Anything else, anything else is completely unreasonable, and we need to have an adjustment, and we need to have a conversation, and you might have to get coaching. Make sure you tap into me with the Patreon. Link is in the description, as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Also, what up though, big dog? I like your bike over there, bro. Yeah, I love that car. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Also, on top of that, make sure you get that Tej Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Uh, we got the live stream tonight, me and Q. We're going to be talking about all of this. We're going to be talking about Boosie and his baby mama. We're going to be talking about a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So, I stepped out the house, had a half a tank, got $43 in there now. Um, you know what I'm saying? In order to be able to have a conversation with y'all because this is important. I know you don't think it's important. I know you don't believe that it's important, but it's absolutely important because too many dudes is getting messed up and crashing out over chicks that ain't got their best interest at heart. And that's a fact. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm curious as to what my fellas think. Don't be flying out these hood rats, man. Leave them where they are. As a matter of fact, I know that I told y'all that they'd do it for free, but why are you even associating with, your, with a type of chick that'd do some stuff like this? That even got the possibility of doing something like this, huh? You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. I appreciate you. I want to hear what y'all think in the comments. Let me know. I'm out. Peace.